So my clients are always asking me, what should I eat for breakfast? And I always respond to them, that really depends on what your goals are. So if you have a goal of burning fat, which 80% of my clients do, then I would recommend that you don't have the conventional breakfast that involves cereals and fruits, oatmeals and juices. And here's the reason why, is that when you sleep, your activity level is virtually nil. So when you wake up, your glycemic index is extremely high. So cereals, fruits first thing in the morning, if you just woke up, probably not what you want to be eating. Sugars are readily available, so they just go straight to an energy source, which is usually visceral fat, which we don't like. Proteins and fats have to be modified into an energy source, which takes energy, and as a result, your metabolism goes up. So one of the best natural proteins in the world, eggs, is what we're gonna to have today. And I'm gonna share a recipe for you with one of my favorites. If you didn't have time to, to make your eggs, uh, you could certainly have something like this, hard boiled eggs, some avocado, um, mixed nuts, these are cashews and almonds. Almonds are equal amounts of carbs and protein. Uh, but if you're really getting the protein, you're getting the fat with all these things, and that's what's important. But that's not part of our recipe today. What we're gonna be working with is a nice lean piece of chicken here that we grill for our meal planning. Because if you don't plan your day, your day ends up running you. You should have your oven preheating at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chicken into nice long pieces. And this dish is gonna require us to cut the chicken kind of fine because we're gonna be putting them into little portions. Any little excess fat, make sure we get that off. Okay. Now I'm going to dice them up into little pieces. I really like using grilled chicken in these type of recipes because they're going to contrast really nicely with the eggs. Good, fantastic. That's my protein source. And you can see I've got another source right here of fat in bacon bits. Right now I'm going to go ahead and get these eggs cracked and beat. Crack your eggs. Some people will tell you egg yolks are bad for you. American Heart Association recommends that each person can have at least one egg a day without making any real effect to their cholesterol level. So, eggs are good for you. It's kind of a misnomer that they were bad for you. Eat those eggs. I beat them over the sink in case I make a mess, which I make a lot of messes. We're not gonna be putting any milk into these eggs. All right, that's great. So now that we've got our chicken, we've got our bacon, we've got our eggs, we want to be well balanced, we're gonna find another carb to put in there that has some clean fiber, and we've got broccoli right here. Broccoli's a little big for our purpose right now, so we're just gonna cut it up a little bit smaller. And I'll go ahead and spoil the surprise. We're gonna be using a miniature cupcake pan, so you wanna make sure you've got portions small enough to get a little bit of chicken, a little bit of bacon um, into the mix, and a little bit of broccoli. So nice and small pieces like that, set it off to the side. Careful of your fingers. Good. Now, the chicken that we're using, as I said, is grilled, which just gives it a nice flavor. Contrast with the eggs really well. The broccoli was also grilled with olive oil and garlic and some fresh sea salt and black pepper. And the flavor is just fantastic. It's really gonna stand out in here. I'm cutting some of the stems off just because they're a little thick and they're not going to go well with the eggs. Be overpowering. What we're really looking for is a green flowering part. Okay, so we've got a good deal of broccoli, good deal of chicken here. Make sure you give a little bit of a spray to it. Do it over the sink and it's not make a mess. If you don't spray it, it's going to be really hard to get these eggs out. I know. I just wipe the tops off. One for presentation and two for mess. Okay, so we've got our mixture here. I'm first gonna put a little bit of broccoli into as many of these little containers as I can. That one looks a little large. That's better. Our goal is to be able to have the broccoli and the meats completely covered by the eggs. And you can mix and match. You can use turkey, chicken, whatever you have left over from the night before. Really, whatever that you like. Now I'm going to go through and put a little bit of chicken in half and a little bit of bacon in the other half. If you weren't healthy or healthy minded, you could put a little bit of yellow cheese in there also. 
Some people might even put a little milk in, but I like it to have a nice dense flavor and texture. And you know what I think? I think bacon makes everything better. I'm gonna put bacon in all of these. I'm gonna have bacon, broccoli, and chicken. Fantastic. So, you can make the entire pan or you can make a portion of the pan. I know for my dietary needs, eight of these will be a nice little breakfast for me. So, I'm gonna take these eggs now that I've beaten, and I'm gonna pour them into a measuring cup that I can use to safely pour. There we go. Set that off to the side. And now we're just gonna slowly pour a little bit of eggs just to cover each one of these. Now, keep in mind, if you go to the top like I did there, the eggs are gonna rise a little bit. So you might see them coming up literally like a, like a cupcake would, up over the top, which I don't prefer. I prefer it to be nice and just right inside. So I'm trying not to get too high. There you go, precision work is not my forte but we got it in without making a mess. And it's just a tad bit more. Okay. And just a little bit of light seasoning, a little twist of pepper on each one, just for flavor. Remember, when you're using fresh ground pepper, it's much stronger than just table pepper, so don't use too much. All right. Now we just throw these into the oven. Make sure you've got something handy to take them out with because it's gonna be hot. And now it's just a matter of waiting and keeping an eye on them. I'll check every five minutes and then check every minute after that. What I'm looking is to see if the top of the eggs start getting a little bit golden brown. And if they do, then I'll pull them out. And remember, they'll continue to cook a little bit more. So I like eggs that aren't terribly dried out. If you like your eggs more dried out, leave them in a little bit longer. Before I pull out those yummy cupcakes, we're just gonna store whatever excess broccoli we have so that we can make it again in the future. Broccoli, we can store them right together. There's our broccoli. This also makes great ingredients for a fantastic quesadilla. So if you have some whole wheat tortillas nearby, that's very helpful. Okay, there's all that chicken in there. Goods for later. And now we get to our breakfast. Oh, those look great. So you take a look at those. Golden brown. I told you they'd raise up a little bit. You can see the chunks of chicken and bacon, which I really like. They start crisping. And as soon as they cool down, we can scoop them right back out. Now, this is a great, healthy breakfast. You've got eggs, which are rich in protein and fat. You've got a little bit of bacon bits, which certainly won't kill you. If you have sodium issues, you can avoid the bacon. We've got fresh grilled chicken and a little bit of broccoli in there. Each one is essentially everything you need in a healthy omelet, but in a bite-sized portion. You could substitute the broccoli with the uh, chunks of asparagus that are thinly cut, spinach, really anything that you want. A little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and an extra protein source. Eat this, don't eat the fruit, don't eat the oatmeal if you want to lose weight for breakfast. I'm Jim, and this is Open Gym. Halfway through this first part, we're doing one minute motions, 30 more seconds. And if it's feeling easy, you can go faster, but I don't know if uh, it's just how heavy my hands are, but I'm starting to feel it already, and I think you will too. Good, 20 seconds. Make sure you keep breathing the whole time, especially when you're standing.